Hello, Debbie Dashinger, Dare to Dream Radio, and coming to you from the studio. I'm going to be talking about let yourself grow. Just let yourself grow. It's time. And Happy New Year, everybody. I'm going to give you some quotes, some really cool quotes, some names you'll know, but people who also had dreams and have found a way to make them come true. We are all so alike. The first one is from... Nicki Minaj, and she said, I'm in my dressing room. I'm about to play to a sold-out crowd in the O2 Arena in Ireland. Name a female rapper who's ever done that, and I will give you $100,000. Ellen DeGeneres. I had no intention of becoming a comedian. I just wanted to make people happy. I tried everything. I shucked oysters. I painted houses. I sold vacuum cleaners. But there was always a voice saying, you should be doing something different. And it was usually my boss, and I was being fired. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> She's so good. Maisie Hirano said, I bring quadruple diversity to the Senate. I'll be the first Asian woman ever to be elected to the U.S. Senate. I am an immigrant. I am a Buddhist. When I said this at one of my gatherings, they said, yes, but are you gay? And I said, nobody's perfect. <laughs> And Dustin Hoffman, Dustin, Dustin Hoffman at 75 years old, had a project he always wanted to direct and never did. And he finally said, look, I wanted to direct for years and years, but it was my own private nuttiness that stopped me from doing it. So he finally said, I'm doing it. And he says, I understand what it's like to be someone who's no longer at their peak, but they just love what they do. I always wanted to be a jazz pianist, but I didn't have the talent. So if God came down and whispered in my ear, hey, you can be a decent jazz pianist, but you can't act or direct anymore, he says, I would have grabbed it in a second, in a heartbeat. He says he still wants to learn a new language. He wants to read books that have been sitting on his shelves for years. But the main thing is he really wants to learn more about himself because he says, I think we spent a lifetime trying to find out who we are. And the important thing is always to keep letting ourselves grow. There are so many awakenings on so many different levels. And I am pleased to let you know that the failing, the failing, the misconception of metaphysics, if only we will say the right words, if only we'll affirm, if only, if only, we always think it's going to come from here that will create this out here. But the truth, the secret of why it doesn't work is because we have not changed yet what is in here. And it is from in here that all else blossoms and comes forth. And that is the real truth and the real secret. So if it hasn't been working for you, it's not because you're bad. It's not because you don't deserve. It's not because any number of things that tells all the voices in there, you're right, I really am not worth it. You're right. I'm, I'm always going to fail. You're right. I'm always going to, you're right. You should be scared. It just really is a great sabotage. So discover that when you talk to yourself in your head, in your alone time, that's the ticket right there. What do you say? What do you think? Because those thinks and thoughts and feelings, those are what create the outside. So practice, practice to retrain yourself. I've done it before. I remember when I was really young and I didn't know how to say thank you. It was my grandfather who taught me, just say it until you mean it, Debbie. Just say it until you mean it. And what happened for me is I did start to grow inside also. I started to change a lot because of a lot of modalities that I was involved in. And what happened was I really actually started to receive. I started to receive compliments. I really loved compliments. Oh, I love them. You could compliment me all the time, and it makes me encouraged. It makes me want to go out there and do it bigger, better, harder. It makes me feel really good just being who I am. So I, I absolutely changed the inside, and the outside reflects that. I can totally receive a compliment now. So let's be friends, y'all, because we're here together. We can't separate from one another no matter how many towers we build or islands we pretend we're on. The truth is, the delusion is, the delusion is we're alone. But we are not. We are all a part of. How much time do you give to fearfulness, to loneliness, to despondency? How many emotional tests do you give yourself, ups and downs? And how about if you just own it, accept it, and just weaken those dark places inside of yourself and empower the really positive, bright, light places inside of you. Awaken, awaken. It is time to awaken. And what would happen if you just sat in front of a mirror and say, hey, you sexy thing, what are you doing? You are so lovely. You are doing so much good on this planet. 
thank you for coming here. Thank you for breathing life into this body and keeping it strong and healthy and doing the best you can. Thank you for weathering the storms you have. Thank you for showing up for other people and being a soft shoulder. Thank you for being willing to grow and do the hard work. You do do the hard work. Thank you for communicating with people. And thank you for actually leaving this planet a little better than you found it every day. What would it be like if we treated ourselves with that level of self-love? Is that vanity? I think not. Is that real love? Yes. And I think that's a secret of where we start from. One of the secrets of awakening is to love ourselves, incarnate our creativity, our unity, our beauty, and express that love to ourselves and to others. And to deal with this reality with humor. Ha ha! That's a secret to allowing yourself to grow. Laugh at it all. Because truly it is all kind of funny. Because all we're doing is becoming. We are and we are becoming. And we can align with the highest aspects of ourself, the best elements of our inner selves and powers of our nature, and just weaken that negativity inside. Don't give it any more power, right? Give ourselves love. The love we want from others is right here already. And when we love ourselves, then the love comes to us. When we're compassionate with ourselves, then compassion comes to us. When we give compassion first, compassion comes to us. Friendship for the sake, just the sake of life power, because we are together. And so here we are, still journeying, still moving forward to our dreams come true. Love yourself with reality, with humor, and that's the secret to it all. The important thing is just allow yourself to grow. Be the beautiful you you came here to be. This is my book, my best-selling book, Dare to Dream, This Life Counts. You can get it on Amazon, D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R, is my last name, and at all bookstores. And if you would like your free gift, go to debradashinger.com slash free gift, or just sign in and get these awesome videos all the time and the radio interviews. It's all free. It's there for you. D-E-B-O-R-A-H-D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R.com slash free gift. Because I believe in you, and I believe that all your dreams can and will come true. Let yourself grow.